It's a shock because it's a sanctuary. You'd think people would have some respect for religion. Thieves now sinking to a new low, stealing from a place that has become a part of Tucson's history and its faith. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tammy Vo. Parishioners came to Sunday Mass at St. Augustine Cathedral today to learn that thieves had taken something very personal from them, a part of their sanctuary. In tonight's 9 on Your Site Crime Watch, Craig Smith is live tonight from the church to tell us about some vandals who've really crossed the line, Craig. You know, you might think a theft from a beautiful church like this one would make members of that congregation fighting mad. Well, instead, what we found was an attitude of deep disappointment, but also forgiveness. The church is meant to be a place where people find comfort, but a thief or thieves went to the Cathedral of San Augustine, apparently to find something else, metal they could sell. It's a shock because it's a sanctuary. You'd think people would have some respect for religion, some respect for certain uh, you know, elements of authority. These handsome old door handles are on an inside door to the church, so they are not on their way to a scrap dealer for a paltry few dollars. Thieves stole eight other handles on the outside. Replacement handles there now are said substitutes for the handles that open doors to weddings, funerals, and almost 85 years in the life of the church. All that is gone. So uh, again, you know, and, and the history of this beautiful church, the cathedral, you know, where people, a lot of people who were received the sacraments here, they, they love to come here to for the services and to see this, it just breaks their hearts. But despite the heartbreak, there's forgiveness. I know that there's probably a lot of people in the church who are praying for the well-being of whoever found it necessary to do this, to just to probably, I guess, just to get by. Now, thieves also cut out a large metal plumbing device called a backflow preventer. That's a very expensive item. And when they made those cuts, it released a flood of water out into the street. Now, though this is such a grand church, the diocese says there's actually an, a poor congregation in this church that will struggle to replace these stolen items. They're still trying to cover from the theft of about six air conditioners at one of the buildings the parish owns. Oh, that's awful, Craig. You know, speaking of those door handles, they seem like they'd be pretty one of a kind. I mean, there's got to be a chance if they tried to cash them in, someone would recognize the handles. That is one of the hopes about this particular theft. And there's also some hope that the thief will have a change of heart, the thief or thieves will have a change of heart, and realize it's the right thing to just turn these things back. I'm sure they could just drop them off their doorstep, no questions asked. Craig, thanks. Let's hope they find them.